Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Charlotte here. Welcome, welcome to my home. I hope everybody's doing well. We need to complete our Medieval Mirage Design Team project. And so I'm thinking, let's go ahead now and let's fill our pockets up. Let's put our ephemera in here and then I probably will off camera go ahead and add any of the embellishments as far as beads and charms and that sort of thing goes. We are pretty full. I mean, look at, we're not going to close flat. This is with no tags. So I'm thinking when I sell this, I may have to take all the tags out, put them in a bag and send them that way because uh, we'll see how fat we get. We do have a pocket here. All of these tags that I pulled out and put here go along with the kit. Now, I did pull a bunch of things that we had done um, in previous videos. So we can go through here and see what we've got. So I'm going to leave this and I'm going to leave this envelope. Probably what I'll do is put a really pretty, just a piece of coffee dyed, tea dyed paper in this, and I might put a bit of collage on that. You've seen me do that before. So we have this pocket here, and we had, we created this a while back, and um, it's got journal space. It would make a nice journal card, but this is a uh, medieval mirage. There is some medieval mirage scraps in here, so I feel like this, this goes well in this book. So we're gonna put that there. I have to come back and um, do the beadwork and the charms and that sort of thing. So maybe putting a couple, I took these from the kit and I backed them. And because they're flat and they're great to journal on, um, put that in here. And then let me see. This is really cute. Uh, this was from Took's. I think it's called T it's Took's Table, I think. But that's really cute. So I am going to put that in there. And then when I get it, when I get this completely finished, we will, I will do the unveiling and it will go in my shop. Um, this, I'm pretty sure I made a double pocket. That won't work. Let's see what I've got here. This is a medieval mirage. I think this would be cute in here. It is mushrooms, but... That's pretty cute. And then there's a pocket behind. I'm wondering, maybe I should do that and put something not so large in the front so we're we're not we're not um, so bulky. That's really cute. Then we have this here and Maybe, let's see what we've got. Everything that I have, oh, this is really pretty, but it's got a tab going this way. This is Medieval Mirage. I kind of would like to, I don't have to use only things that have Medieval Mirage in them, but why not? Why not do that? See if I can find some things that maybe are not so bulky. A lot of these trims I had put, um, what do you call the, the padded tape? And so that just adds bulk. I love this, but it is just a page. That is pretty, though, and it gives you the ability to um, 
journal on the other side. And it matches, so I, I'm going to go with that. And we have a pocket here that is pretty skinny. So let's see. That's not going to fit. What do I have? I know this is... That's not going to fit. I may have to... Do something, make something specifically for this. Yeah, I might have to because I'm pretty sure this might fit. Although this kind of goes the other way, but this might. It's just off like everything I have is like off of eighth of an inch. This is pretty 3D, so I don't know. Well, it does go in. We're going to use that. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Okay. That looks good. And then we've got tuck here. And, um, do I want to just put papers? No, I don't want to do that. What do we have? Everything is, I'm just really nervous of the thickness, but that's cute. Mm, I love this. I definitely want to use that. Maybe. That's cute. Let's put that in there. It's a lot of pink, but it looks really, really cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Maybe this will work. I love that. Let's use that. And then we put this piece here. And I'm thinking this is going to lend itself to, I think, a few of our papers here. And of course, let's use as much from the kit as we can. She is beautiful. Let's use her. Side pocket. Okay, what do I have with a tag or a tab? This doesn't have a tab, but let's see. Anything. I love this. Just love that. I can't believe we made these. I'm in love with these and I haven't used them. How about this? This has a tab. Will this fit? Oh, just so um medieval mirage medieval mirage there's a few pieces this is medieval mirage this is medieval mirage and it's got some washi tape on it so yeah just have to be careful of that flower because it is um thick we're just gonna say thick but beautiful, beautiful pages here. There is so much. Is this a pocket? It is. So I'm thinking so many pretty pages from the kit. And what I did is I took these and I just went ahead and backed them. So when you think about all the writing space that there is in here, it's pretty incredible. There is a lot. There's a postcard. I think that might work really well right there, and it does. Oh, just so, so pretty. Then, 
she is beautiful. I think we do have something in here already, and we do, so we are good with that. And this must be a pocket, and it is. So how about will this work? This might be too thick. Boy, I don't have any, I don't do anything that's flat. And I'm wondering, this one that I love, I just don't want that butterfly to get, um, you're pulling this in and out if he's okay. Of course, the owner of this book can do whatever they want to do with these pieces. But it just goes to show you how Medieval Mirage, everything just goes so well. And then I put this in there. I had this um, time check. I didn't do anything to the time check because sometimes they're just so cool by themselves that they don't need anything. Then we have, if you remember, we did this piece here. And uh, so you've got this journal space, this folds out, and you've got this journal space, and we've got a nice pocket right here. Maybe we will put that in there, and then to keep this closed, just use this large paper clip. Like that, and then we've got this piece here. And then we've got this pocket down here. We can put some pieces in there. And get this up here. This kit was just incredible to work with. I have nothing in here, so I probably will put coffee tea dyed paper in this envelope. We'll see how this looks when we get to the end, how thick it is. I put a lot, a lot of pockets in this book, a lot of tucks. Here's an envelope and it's got some matching papers inside of it. We've got a beautiful tuck right here. Maybe. I love all the color. This is really pretty. Let's put that there. That was just the first signature. Here is the second. Let's put this in there because you've got that cute butterfly that matches. And then remember we had le we had left that this way. And here is something with green, which just looks really good. Let's put that like that. So much to work with. Cute, cute tag. Use another postcard. Remember this tag? So fun to make that tag. I hope everybody's doing really well. Another envelope, and I have nothing in here. And so I probably will do um, some distress paper in there. And gotcha this. Yeah, this should have gone here. And I'll probably go ahead and put lace. You'll see because I'll do a um, I'll do a flip through of what I do with this. And will this fit in there? No. How about that? Oh, that's why I had that on there. Yes, it is, because I created this so that this opens up and you have some journal space. If you close this with a paper clip, then you also have a pocket. 
So that is why that goes like that. Just like that. I thought that was a cute idea. Then we've got the bag here and I may just leave it. This opens from the back. So maybe have to be careful of that flower. That works. Another pocket here. I love that I am using up a lot of these tags. This is a single pocket, not a double, so that is good. Will this fit? May not. Doesn't want to, but will this go in there? And I used pop-ups for these Tim Holtz. Flowers, so you have to really watch out. But, and they do add bulk, but you've got Medieval Mirage in here, and that is not a pocket. Some of that beautiful paper. We have another envelope. Do I have Will this go in here? Oh. It's perfect. Look for that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Made for it. And then this is a pocket right here. So, we've got some pretty little bits that we can put in here. Little bits. And this is a tuck. And... I'm almost afraid. Oh, it's big, but it's just so pretty. I um, just want to leave it. I want to fill it up and just leave it. Because it is so, so pretty. That will work. There's another envelope. I think the envelopes are just going to get coffee-dyed papers because... Um, with just a little bit of napkin work. This is a page that I folded and just used it that way. Jarf's kits are so full, it's a shame not to share them all. Then there was a, a belly band. Here is one of the little um, envelopes. There's a little matching tag. Then we have the other part of the bag, there's another envelope, and this folds out for more journal space. And we're coming to the end, which I'm, I'm happy to say because I just don't think I can put much more in here. And then I put, there's three extra pages in here, and we still have a pocket here, so... Why don't we go ahead and put that in there. And I think in the front here, we still have a pocket. I just put a couple little, just things that I have extra. Just these little guys here. And then, yeah, look at us guys. Oh. This is so beautiful. I, I'm going to have to wrap a um, ribbon around here, a piece of sorry silk or something to keep this closed. But this is an incredible journal. And so I will go through it. I will get out my coffee tea dyed papers. I think I'm going to just go ahead and fold them. There's nothing in any of these envelopes. I do have these pages left. And so I will put these in um, envelopes and on the inside, and then um, I'll go ahead and put whatever charms or what I'm going to do 
with this and then we'll have the reveal. So guys, I just, I hope you love her as much as I do. Some things that I did today may change a little bit on the inside as I just go through and check everything. But um, I did not use the whole kit. I've got all of these pages left. If you check this kit out, I will have everything in the description box, but there is so much more that, um, yeah, I just wasn't able to use it all. So um, be sure that you check uh, Medieval Mirage out, and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone, and thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, guys.